Pharmacy technicians are the backbone of a pharmacy. Without them, the pharmacy can't stand up straight or stand at all because we need them. While pharmacy technicians can work in a lot of different areas, today I'm gonna to be focusing on retail pharmacy and hospital pharmacy. Retail pharmacy technicians are the people that you see right up front helping you check out. They're the ones answering the phones and that drive-through window. And there they do exactly what you think they do. They help you pick up your prescriptions, answer questions that you may have about the cost of your medications. They also triage questions that you may wanna ask your pharmacist and make sure they have all the information they need to fill your prescription correctly when you drop it off. Retail pharmacy technicians also frequently help with insurance issues that may come up when filling your prescription. What you may not see is it took two hours to get your drug approved. Your technicians definitely were helping with that. They also help enter prescription orders for the pharmacist to later check and verify, fill medications for delivery, long-term care facility, or just pick up, and package and label medications. They also do tasks that are very similar to what happens in a hospital pharmacy. Technicians from both the retail and hospital side triage phone calls for the pharmacist from providers, offices, nurses, and patients. Both of them also fill prescriptions. They're the ones putting the pills in the bottle. If you're in a hospital pharmacy, they're repackaging them. They may be compounding liquid medications, ointments, or if you're in a hospital, sterile compounds that go into your IV. For this type of compounding, pharmacy technicians may actually get additional certification in order to do this at a higher level. Pharmacy technicians are also awesome at helping with inventory management and keeping everything straight in line and ready for you on the shelf. In addition to those things that I mentioned where there's overlap, hospital pharmacy technicians help fill medication stations, deliver medications up to patient floors. Some pharmacy technicians may actually be stationed up on the floors to help answer any questions about missing medications or when a dose is coming. In a hospital setting, pharmacy technicians may also take medication histories where they go and they ask you questions about your medications to make sure we have everything on file so you don't miss an important medication while you're staying in the hospital. Hospital pharmacy technicians may also be helping with chemotherapy. While these dispensing roles are incredibly important, it's also good to note that pharmacy technicians may actually hold leadership positions within their organizations. Most hospital and retail pharmacies have a lead technician, which is the go-to person for all the pharmacy technicians and usually pharmacy interns in the hospital or retail pharmacy. They may take a buyer position, help with specific insurance inquiries, and may also be the lead IV room or compounding technician. In addition to those leadership positions, there is an opportunity for growth by getting certified as a pharmacy technician, which requires you to take the pharmacy technician certification exam. This only touches the tip of the iceberg of the things that a pharmacy technician does. And honestly, they deserve more pay and credit than they get. In addition to retail and hospital pharmacies, you can find pharmacy technicians in a lot of locations. They may work in veterinary pharmacies, work in educating future pharmacy technicians. There are opportunities for pharmacy technicians in the military, as well as the pharmaceutical industry, and even in prisons. Basically, anywhere you can find a pharmacist, you probably can find a pharmacy technician who is working for you. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you love your pharmacy technicians. And hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos, and I will see you next time. Bye!